Hey everyone, I'm Todd Stevens. And I'm Ross Miriam. You're watching the Verse series by StarCityGames.com. We're here for the conclusion of our 25th Anniversary Pro Tour Team Constructed event, where Ross and I picked out a deck of each format. So far in Standard, we had Grixis against Red Black. In Modern, we had Humans against Tron. And now in Legacy, we're going to have Infect against Death and Taxes today. Yeah, so these are the three decks that we individually chose as recommendations for the Pro Tour and what we're expecting to happen that weekend, the Pro Tour metagame. Uh, as far as legacy goes, I think Death and Taxes is one of the big gainers from the bands. One, it didn't lose anything. Mm -hmm. Two, the loss of Death Rite Shaman for the blue decks makes mana denial strategies a lot more potent. Uh, so your ports, your wastelands, your thalias are all going to be more impressive, and that's a, a core part of what Death and Taxes does. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that like Teamer Delver is a lot better matchup for you than Grixis Delver was. It's a lot easier to answer Nimble Mongoose and Tarmogoyf than it was Young Pyromancer and Gurmag Angler. Uh, they're going to have less mana in general, so your Thalias are more effective. And then you're generally pretty good against Death and or against Sneak and Show. Yep, uh, that's a historically very good matchup. They've gotten a little bit better with the incorporation of Omniscience, but still a good matchup overall. Uh, and that's a deck that is creeped up now. So. Uh, I just think Death and Taxes is very well positioned. Storm got worse. That's a matchup that is closer than uh, people generally think uh, because Thalia is just so effective and Sanctum Prelate is so good. But uh, it's good that they got uh, slower with the loss of Taxing Pro because speed is generally how they beat you. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in your, one of your worst matchups, Elves also got a lot worse, losing Death yeah. and Shaman. So uh, a lot of your worst matchups got, uh, got a lot worse from the bannings. Some of your better matchups got better and are seeing more play, and you didn't lose anything. Death and Taxes seems great to me. Yeah, and you gain something, too. Yeah, we got Brightling from yeah. Battlebond. Yeah. Uh, a card that I've seen in a lot of Death and Taxes lists. I'm trying out two in my list today. I think the card's quite good. Mm -hmm. uh, I had some issues with it at the Legacy Classic over in Philadelphia, playing uh, with my Blue White Stoneblade deck. So Br Brightling definitely impressed me there. We'll see how good it is. Uh, probably not as good here. Usually more for the long game, fair matchups. But still a, a, a fine threat. Also good that it can attack with Vigilance against a Glistener Elf. So you can mm -hmm. play offense and defense if necessary. And you know, I, I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna take this one down after a couple close losses this week. Okay. Okay. Um, on my side, I got Infect. Now I have quite a bit of experience with Infect in Legacy, and this was uh, one of my first uh, Legacy decks that that I played. Uh, of course, hanging out with Tom Ross a bunch. He you know yep. he taught me the. I, uh, like just how good Infect is and I, everything. I played Legacy Infect in exactly one tournament and it didn't go so well. Okay. Borrowed the entire 75 from Tom. Yeah. Just like, okay, ready to, ready to battle. Oh, I remember that. That was a classic, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Um, I played it in two and I top aided one open and I didn't quite make day two of the second open. It was like close. I, I was like 6 3 or something like that. So hit or miss, really? Yeah. So hit or miss. But, um, the the matchup I could never beat before were the Delver decks. I'm probably between Magic Online and like the opens. I'm like personally, I'm like 0 and 18 against Chris Delver. <laughs> <laughs> like okay, a, any, well. any kind of Delver. Like I just couldn't. Like I just haven't ever figured out how to beat them, and just haven't haven't ever been able to win. So I'm glad that both Deathrite and Jetaxium Pro were banned to make that deck a little worse. So. Yeah, no, but the, you're not playing against a Delver deck today, so yeah, don't worry. Yeah, that's good. But this is a, a matchup where I have a lot of good disruption. Thalia is good. I've got Swords to Plowshares. I have a lot of interaction for Ink Moth Nexus between mm -hmm. Flying Blockers, Wasteland, and Port. And I have a very easy ways to contain Glistener Elf. So you're really going to be relying on Blighted Agent, I think. With that being said, I don't think you have a chance of winning. I think Infect is just way too good. So we'll see who's right between Ross and I. To see who goes first, we have our special 25th anniversary <laughs> die roll game that we've been doing this week, where we are going to be rolling seven dice and see who gets closest to the number 25. Yeah, so average on seven dice is 24 and a half, 25 right near the center of that distribution. Uh, ooh, I think I've got a pretty good one, 24. I got 27. Oh, I was two off. You were one yep. off? 24. Oh. Nice. All right. Well, you finally get to go first. Yep. Todd won the first two die rolls. I got this one. Took the best roll of the week. Yeah. And I think the second best roll is yours right there. <laughs> yeah. but being on the play will help a lot. Let's see what I got here. Well, I've got my best card on turn one. That's great. Best card on turn two, also great. Okay. 
So let's keep this one. My hand would be a ton better on the play uh, with the, specifically with this card and make it a whole lot better on the play. I think I think this is would easily win on the play. I don't know about the draw though. The draw is gonna be kind of tough. Okay. Still keep though. Yeah. Still okay. keep. Well, I've got a vial. Yep. You were playing the vials in modern. Uh, I got jealous. Okay. Um, that was pretty bad draw there. Wish was in our opening hand, but a bad turn two draw. Uh, noble on the draw, elf on the play. We're on the draw. Let's play the noble. So go ahead. Nineteen, getting the yep. drop. Upkeep, get a counter on this. That was not a good draw. I will play a Thalia, Guardian of Thraven. All right, so I'm going to be dazing that. And so, like, if we were on the play, being able to go Glistener off days, I think we would. And then with our with pump spells, I think that would just be a game over. But last turn. We're not on the play. Um, I'm going to start with the Ponder. Sure. I want to kind of see what's going on here. These are all very good cards, actually. I think, I think this is just a keep. But then the biggest problem is we only... Well, I guess we can just go back with the Trop. Yeah, let's... Hmm. Well, this is kind of tough, exactly how we want to lead this out. I th so I want to get the Elf down, but I actually wouldn't mind casting this card also. But we can't cast both, of course. So let's just get the Elf down. I think this is the one I care about the least. Um, and we're going to leave them like this, where we kind of have like this card for protection uh, in pairs with that. So... Player elf. Okay, go ahead. Upkeep, go to two. Yeah. I will. Pass the turn. All right, draw. Yep. Okay, so we know Roskin Violin, Thalia. Oh, wait, no, I counted it. It's not. I was, I was thinking it was like remand, like it went back to your hand, sorry. <laughs> Never mind, Thalia Thali gone. Um, Alright, so I think I'm going to want to cast the card that's right here this turn. Yeah, let's cast that. So, since I, th since I think I'm going to be casting that, might as well cast this brainstorm first, and sure. see if there's anything else underneath this that I kind of want this turn. Okay, not so bad. Which two cards do we want to get rid of? I don't think I don't think I'm going to need this card. Um. How do you think that card feels now, Todd? <laughs> Just probably, telling everybody that they're worthless. Probably not so good. You're not so. I thought you were supposed to be a nice guy, Todd. We'll keep it there. We may we may draw it. I'm gonna actually play. I'm gonna not gonna. I'm not gonna play my fetch land yet. I think sure. I'll take this top card. I'll go to combat. Yep. Man, I don't want my glistener elf to be eaten by another Thalia. I really don't. But I think if it does, it does. Attack. Four blocks, I'll activate. Okay. Okay. I'd like to get block. Um, yeah. All right, so now... Do we want to use our spell? I don't think so. Okay, it gets eaten. That's fine. Got him. Good. On your end step, all swords is blighted agent. Okay. Brings you to 20? Yeah. Upkeep. So that was just the worst possible turn for us. Yeah, for sure. Go to three on this vial. And mush you for two. Down to 18. Um, I am going to make a kind of unorthodox play here to get this down and start applying more pressure. I'm going to vial in a flicker wisp 
blink okay. this Thalia and cast a Sword of Fire and Ice. All the Thalia is gone. Uh, oh yeah, I guess you can still daze. Sure. Thalia gone. Thalia comes in. Pass. Now Todd has less mana to work with. Against the Thalia. Hmm. You have five in hand now? Yeah. Yeah, five in hand. Ponder? Sure. Okay. So we got Ponder, Noble, Crop Rotation. Don't really want those cards. You're at 18, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Thalia plus Swords. I did not play around that at all. And that just completely destroyed us. What else you got over there? Not much, to be honest. I'm gonna get rid of this Caracas so I can't keep just bouncing the Salia. I'm just gonna get rid of that Caracas. Sure. Good. Pretty happy to see Todd trade his wasteland there when I have Thalia cut his own mana down because Ink Moth is also mana intensive. Uh, attack you for five. Down to 13. 13. I will cast a Phyrexian Revoker. Okay. I will name Noble Hierarch. Continue to cut off Todd's mana. Notably, Frexian Roker says non land, so it cannot name Ink Moth Nexus. All right, uh, activate, attack. Um, so. Hmm. Trying to think what the how the best way to do this is. And I think it's just to take this. Two poison is not a lot. Okay. Not very threatening. Let's get our Tom Ross out. Ooh, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, attack you for seven. Brings you to six. Yep, down to six. Cast an Aether Vial. Okay. And pass the turn. Ink Moth? Yep. Attack. Um, no blocks. All right. Do your uh, four infect? Yep. Go ahead. Uh, on the instep, activate. Yeah. Put in Flicker Wisp, blink the untap drop. Yep, done. All right, we're back for game two, and we have a hand that I don't think is going to be um, a mulligan, but we don't. We're not going to be very fast here, but we don't necessarily need to be very fast. Okay, well, my hand is also kind of slow, so that's a good <laughs> sign. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I, get, do I do get to scry. I've taken a mulligan of six. Um, Man is a little awkward here, but we have some ways to slow Todd down and hopefully get to our more powerful cards. So uh, this one, a card I can't cast, so we'll send that one to the bottom. Okay. All right. Well, I'm starting with the Glistener Elf. Okay. Well, I will start on a Swords to Plot Shares. Okay. Go to, you go to 21. 21. Pass. Maybe that's a little aggressive, but... I'm going to be tapping out a lot in the coming turns. Mm. Well, I'll get another Trop and play Blight Agent. That is a good one. Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm just never supposed to plug Listener Elf. Um, Revoker good? Yeah, of course. Uh, you will name Noble Hierarch. I don't think there's really yeah anything else. You can't you can't play anything, right? So yeah, I don't think you have anything that costs zero. So oh well, we drew so we drew Invigorate Berserk, kill you, and we even drew Vines. So our two draws were Invigorate and Vines, which was very good because I just kept Berserk these like you know the the lands. Yeah. 
but yeah, we drew Invigorate fine. So how that works is Invigorate gets a plus four, plus four. The Blight Agent's now five, five, and then Berserk doubles it to make it 10 power. So Yeah, so I mean, it. if I sit here and plow the Blight Agent on turn two, I have a colorless lined up. You just do the same thing to Glistener Elf. Yep. So I'm just dead. Yeah, I actually had the turn two kill with Blistener Elf because the Invigorate was my first card. Would you? You probably don't go for it into the. <laughs> no, it, it just a white mana. No, yeah. probably not. Okay, we're here for sideboarding. Uh, on my side, I am essentially just upgrading my threats here. Brightling is not great in this matchup, as I noted in the intro, and then Remorseful Cleric. Um, like Graveyard Data is not something I want in this matchup. Instead, we get these Canonists, which I think are quite good. I uh, just stop Todd from like casting protection spells after a pump spell and other things, uh, really slow him down, and then Sanctum Prelate. Uh, a little weird to know what number I want to like, name with it. I think often I'll be naming three to just stop Invigorates, okay. uh, because I don't want to shut off my Swords to Plowshares, but it, it depends. We'll, we'll see how the situation uh, dictates. So, well, we have some options. I'm also bringing in one Council's Judgment, just as an additional removal spell against Blighted Agent. Uh, I think that card is just so important that having a three mana spell dedicated to killing it is fine. Uh, I had four cards I wanted to bring out. The Batter Skull is pretty bad. I'd mm -hmm. much rather have sort of Fire and Ice or Umzaus Gita because they interact with creatures. And then uh, these three creatures are the worst already coming out for the others. So I'm not bringing in the second Council's Judgment. Just one additional removal spell is fine. It's not great against Days, uh, especially when I have Thalia's, but... You know, like there are going to be games when having this against the vines is incredible, and you really just do need to kill Blighted Agent whenever you see them. So, um, the yep. one Council Judgment does its job. I wish it, I had something like a, uh, like, what is that card? Um, the Strafe, but for white cards. Three damage to a non white creature for one mana. Uh, Sunlance? Sunlance, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, some yeah. could do some. The, could the, do some the stuff. planar shifted strafe. Yeah, I've never heard of strafe, so, so I didn't know. It's a you red card that the white bolt. Yeah, then it's I a red card that deals three <laughs> damage to a non-red creature. Oh yeah, so From plane shift. Yeah, never heard of that. My um, side, the uh, sideboard's pretty easy with the artifacts, uh, anti-artifact stuff all coming in. Hitting vial is very important, but then also just jitte is a card we can't really beat. So we got to be able to be able to got to be able to deal with jitte. Since Ross is a Wasteland deck, we're going to have our crop rotation come on in here to be able to save our land that was going to get Wastelanded. And by save, I mean turn it into a different land. Um, and then uh, Spell Pierce and Fluster Storm are the two easiest cuts. Besides that, Force and Days are not necessarily the best cards. Um, I'm about to be on the draw, so I'm going to be taking out Days, these two Days on the draw. On the play, I'm going to take out these Forces. I'm going to put the Days back in because I really want to put, play like a one drop and then Days right away on the play. Yeah, so, Dazing Vile is definitely a, a really important play, as uh, we saw in game one when you were unable to. Yep. Doesn't know Strafe. It's the 25th anniversary, Todd. We're celebrating all the magic cards. <laughs> even the ones, Strafe. Yeah, even the ones you don't care about. <laughs> okay, here we are for game number three. Uh, I'm on the play this time. This hand is really awkward, seeing as... This land is in it, but because we have a vial, I think it's a keep. It's pretty strong outside of that, uh, as long as we draw some more lands. Yeah, I have uh, I have just a, kind of a lot of threats here, and yeah, I would like to draw you know other stuff. Hopefully, no lands. Hopefully, just okay. never draw land. Uh, I will name human mm -hmm. and cast an ether vial. Pass. All right, so I, I think I definitely have to use my forcible here, uh, because with especially with cavern uh, <laughs> and then vial, like I just it's just never going to get used ever again. So that does mean our Blight Agent has to go. Okay, pass the turn. That's a good draw step. Noble Hierarch. You're at 18? Yeah. Good? Yep. I could get, so I could get Trop to not, to not be bad to Wasteland, but because uh, Ross doesn't have a Vial, I wouldn't mind getting Wasteland to do oh. anyway. Ooh, that one's good. Mm, maybe I'm not supposed to tell you here, actually. Okay. It's unlikely that Todd has days here. He would have pitched days over Blighted Agent for sure. Uh, and it might sequence better if I start here. And this also cuts him off mana. I'll play Revoker. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. Uh, I'll name Noble Hierarch. Okay. Pass the turn. I'll attack for one. Might as well get in there. The Hierarch can't really do anything else. Um. You want to block? Like, it does prevent Exalted on other things. Oh, it does prevent Exalted. Yeah, no, never mind. The Exalted's... The, yeah, I'm not attacking today. Okay, I'm a I, I, don't, I, don't, I was thinking... Yeah, forgot about the Exalted with Infect stuff, yeah. Okay. Well, Sorry, my bad. Been a little bit. Now, 
Um, yeah, I'll just plow this agent. Okay. You go to 19, and yep. I'll attack for 2. You go to 17. Pass the turn. So that was the reason that I didn't want to play Thalia, because it made it... If I draw a land next turn, I could plow plus Thalia after with this sequence. All right. Let's start with the Brainstorm. Sure. Let's see if... Ooh. Looks like you're dead. I think this should be lethal. Cavern? So I don't if, really know so what... Does have land triple invigorate? Oh. Your Noble can't tap for mana there. Yeah, it's fine, but just double, double, double invigorate. invigorate. Yeah, because yeah double invigorate's going to do it, because exalted 2, 6, 12, 10. I mean, I was thinking I was going to be able yeah. to invigorate, invigorate, berserk, but yeah, I'd, I just had invigorates and berserks. Yeah, I'm dead. You did. Okay, here for game four, uh, I have a pretty strong start with a solid amount of interaction. Definitely a keep. Okay, so we'll see if we can fight through it. My hand's also definitely a keep. Okay, got a force from a vial this time. I do not. Pass the turn. I do have a noble hierarchy again, though. Okay, go well, ahead. I will put a counter here, draw a card, and play a ghost quarter and swords your noble. Okay. You can go. Just want to cut Todd off of mana here. This is a play that I think a lot of people don't do against Infect, and they should more often. Hmm. Playing Ink Moth means it's definitely going to get ghost quartered. That's fine. I would take Ross off of land. That's fine. I'll get over it. Light agent. Go ahead. In the turn, activate. Yep. Okay. okay. Go to two on the vial. Yep. And. Swords of Blighted Agent. So many swords. You go to 21. And should I go quarter now? Todd would have to have like land activate double triple invigorate vines yeah to just to deal yeah, lethal to lethal me yeah i'm not going to use it i'm going to go get another trop one key on basic and corrupt that give a pro green Looks like that. Don't read the card. <laughs> <laughs> it, that does kind of look like a creature. It doesn't really look like a vial. But that does look like a creature, but no, we're, we're going to get rid of that. Brings you to 20. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, you have four in hand. I think I'm going to slow play this one just to protect my play. I'll name Elemental. Okay. Flicker Wisp. Okay. I'll blink the cavern. Yeah. And when it re-enters an end step, I'll name Human. Okay. Pass the turn. So if I attack with the Corruptor, you can block with the Flicker Wisp, give the Flicker Wisp protection from green, and then my Corruptor is going to die with no value there. So Todd could stop that with a Vines of that, the Vastwood, but I'm fine taking that two for one. Yeah. Even if you, have, if you have Vines plus Pump Spell to save your Corruptor, it's still a two for one on my end. Ooh, these aren't so bad. This, I definitely do not want, I definitely don't want this, this card way over here. Don't, that's that's going to like go to the bottom where I'm going to shuffle that away before I would draw that card. <laughs> These two, on the other hand, actually, I think are going to be pretty good. Um, I think these two are, are both pretty good. Yeah, let's let's just keep both of these. And you just have one card. One card. Hmm. I guess I want. I guess I want. I want. To, let's see. Put that one back. I think this one's going to be more important just to kind of have in general. So if we get Ghost Quarter, it's okay to shuffle that one away. Um, I think this is the one we'll want over that. So let's play our land for turn. 
activate, go to combat. And here I will trade the Ink Moth with the Flicker Wisp because you can't do protection from colorless. These, these Ink Moths are all like, somebody's been shuffling these ones. So, all right, go ahead and get that attack in there. Um, that's fine. All one, right, one take poison. One, one poison. Hey, Good. I'm Tom Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Good after that. Yeah. That's an interesting one. Um, I think I'm going to try to force Todd's hand here and start with this and play Palace Jailer. I need a Monarch token. So this is the, uh, it's Banishing Priest? Banishing yeah. Priest. And yeah. It's not going to do... Oh, exile it until I become the Monarch. Yeah. Not just until this leaves, just until I, I, I become the Monarch. So whenever I become... Yes. So if I come... Which but, you likely will next turn, but I don't really like the Scrupter's not doing anything, so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's fine. And then I will. Uh, so you'll go to end step draw. draw. Card. Do you want to no attacks? No. All right. Pass the turn. I want to force Todd to attack with both Ink Moths here. Yeah, which is fine. That was my plan anyway, so all good. Ba -bow. Um, And then as far as. Let's see, which land to play? Um. I think I do want to, I really don't want to draw this card on top, so I want to shuffle it away. So I'm going to be playing this here, Wooded Foothills, even though this is like technically a better card to have right here. But yep. Whack. Block. Yep, so you block one, you take one. Go to two poison. Go to two poison. Frederick Corruptor comes in. Yeah, Destroys exactly. Rank Moth Nexus. I become the, oh, it is just destroy? Hmm. It's not a May, huh? Nope. Well, I'm fetching before that. <laughs> okay. Can't. Can't stop with vines because of the way vines is worded. Fetching before this. Let's see. Let's see what I, I, can, I have other things I can do. Sure. You you do you. That's not a May, huh? Nope. I definitely mess this up. <laughs> it's not a May. Well. Step into my web. <laughs> Reading cards is beneficial. <laughs> Should probably know what the cards in your deck do, but I'm not one to talk. That's all right. I still got this. Sure. End step. Draw. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep. Okay. Um, so in order to become the monarch, I will have to make this pro green and attack. And then I will cast a Thalia through the cavern. Ooh, that's that's going to be difficult for me. That's not good. I will play this land, and I will play a Stoneforge Mystic. Okay. Trigger Stoneforge. Yeah. And find a GTA, and on my end step, I'll draw a card. Thalia was an excellent draw there. You got two poison? Yep. All right, I still got this. I still got this. I'll go to combat. Yeah. Let's attack on in there. Walk. All right, I'll vines kicked. Oh, I got to do, th yeah, so I'll do vines kicked. Oh, that costs three. Uh. Yep. Man. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, well, okay, sorry. Let me. I was thinking this was going to be two for this, then two for my other spell, but it's three and two. I'm one mana short. Man, that that whole Viridian Corruptor thing, just <laughs> not being a May. That's rough. So I should I should definitely use this ver this vines way before and save this Corruptor. If I would have done that, this game would have been pretty over. So I messed I messed that up. I didn't even didn't even consider that that it killing the ink moth at the time. Um, 
Okay, maybe I'll just get more threats down. You have two cards. You're going to be drawing a third card. And a fourth card. And a fourth card. And you have a Jitte? I do. It's right here. I can't beat a Jitte. Few people can. Ooh. So you have to play... So Jitte is going to cost you three mana. Is it? Oh, you have stone. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, I'll just play Blighted Agent. And... Jitte is just minus one, minus one until end of turn, not counter. Correct. Um... Go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to leave the Pendlehaven for defense over the Vines to be able to get Glistener Elf down. That's a vial. Okay. Stone Forge. Get Jitte. Yep. And I think I want to equip to the Thalia, because this way, even if Todd blocks with a two th with a one one and pumps it, Thalia has first strike. I'll get counters with the GTA, and I only need one counter to deal with both one ones. So, yeah, equip the Thalia and attack. No blocks. Um, first strike damage. 18. You go to seventeen. Or also, before damage, I'm gonna I'm gonna pump this agent though because yeah. I, I wanted to save that. So that's what before damage, I'm saving this. I'm gonna just pump this. Sure. Because I can't I can't wait for you to have the counters and then you do one and then you do the other. Yeah. Um, All right. So I'm at eighteen. I'll go score this Pendlehaven. Now Todd needs both of his vines to save the Blighted Agent. Probably should have just Ghost Quartered on end step. Yeah, he still had one man. Yeah, that was just a mistake. Um, whatever, uh, end step, I draw a card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this on upkeep, though, so Todd yeah. can't draw an extra card. I'll give... Oh, am I actually? I should probably just wait till you commit a spell. Okay. Because I'm still I'm only at two poison. So yeah, there's no point in, in me doing it now. Because any pump spell protects it, so I have to be wary of invigorates too. That's the problem. I could definitely die this turn, but I, if I untap on this turn, I just I just screwed up by not ghost quartering an end up and gave Todd an out a window. It'll be I'll be very disappointed if I lose this game because of that. After getting him so good with his own revo with his own corruptor, <laughs> yeah. And you so we got two poison. Brainstorm. Sure. Yeah. But starting with a brainstorm means that like it's going to be so hard for Todd to actually have enough mana to cast relevant spells. Now he's basically dead. Honestly, I could have responded to that brainstorm by because he can only vine to once through the Thalia, so I could have. But he could double invigorate. Yeah. And if he double invigorates, then it's a 7-7, seven, seven, and he just needs to find land invigorate off the brainstorm. But if he does have triple invigorate, I just can't win anyway. Yeah, land triple invigorate, I think, is what Todd needs at this point. Did you just put three cards back? Oh, right. I was draw three, and then I was... Yeah. Put the, but, uh, sorry. I meant these so two. So I was counting. Right? You are going to have I exactly was, I was going to do, like, ponder, like, put them back, and then draw the card, you yeah. know? That's what I was, I was thinking that, but... You got triple invigorate? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I've, Combat? Sure. Attack. No blocks. Okay. Three poison. All right. Uh, get this thing. Go to uh, end step. And I think I want to shuffle those away. Yeah. So, shuffle. Brings you to 16. Yep, 16. And I hope I have a fourth trop. I 
always played four trops before. Ugh. There's just not there's not another trop in here. Are we getting dried arbor? There's not a dried arbor in here. I just I don't have a fetch. I don't have a fetchable. So I guess Giuliano's only playing three trops. I don't have, I don't have a fetchable. That's that's gonna mean I'm gonna be dead. Oh, I really needed really need more lands with Astalia. Nice. Oh. Gonna have to draw some kind of land here. That's not a fetch. Unfortunately, I had just tons of fetches. <laughs> more fetches. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Now I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah. I if we had a fourth trop, I'd actually think that we could maybe win this. It's a canonist through okay. the vial. Or through the cavern, I mean. Okay, I'm dead then. Canis, I can't beat. <laughs> then I'll, yeah, yeah wish it three to make sure. Uh, I've been sitting with the vines berserk berserk for like the long time, but I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. even just vines one berserk like I would have been able to, but I just didn't have the lands. I can't possibly beat a Jute with the canonist. We got another game five that's going to be for the match here where uh, I'll be on the play again. Um, our hand's definitely slower. We have a lot more interaction than you usually see in Infect. Um, so I, I hope I draw some more uh, threats, pump spells, card draw, all that kind of stuff. But I think this is a key. Okay. I've taken a mulligan to six, and I'm happy to hear Todd say he doesn't have a really fast hand. I have a fine hand, but one that could definitely get rolled early. Um, but if the game goes long, I feel pretty good with the starting six, and I get a scry. Um, don't need this because I already can force through my first copy, so on bottom. One sub teeth. Go ahead. Ooh, no one drop. Uh, Cavern on human and play Mother of Runes. Um, that's fine. Gonna dismember my Mother of Runes? Probably should if you have it. Not gonna dismember anything else. Blight Agent. You told me your hand wasn't fast, Todd. Yeah, well, I don't have any pump spells. I have a Blight Agent. <laughs> That's awkward. Um, huh. Well, how do I want to play this? I could get this going. But then I'm just kind of off a t by a turn, and I don't really want to be off by a turn. I think I really need to get the Salia down. <clears throat> Pass. Okay. Brainstorm. Yep. Yeah, I figured there was a, a Brainstorm or Cantrip coming. We don't want all these all these cards we have. They're not not what we want at all. Um, fortunately, we didn't find another land. Another land would have been really nice. Well, we didn't see it, so let's get you one poison. Yeah, where's Tom? Oh, yes. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, not the best draw. But now we're sort of all in on ignoring these, unfortunately. So maybe... Shouldn't have, but definitely play Stoneforge Mystic. Yep. Get a Jite and attack you for two. Summon team. So now Todd is going to be in an awkward spot where he kind of needs to hold up an answer to Jite. It doesn't have a lot of mana to do that. I'll pass the turn. He needs to have nature, the one nature's claim. Hmm. Got for me, Todd. No lands. I know that part. Yeah, no. My my draws have been very bad. I don't think I can beat a Jitte. I know that the top card of my deck's another blank. Yeah. Don't worry. My draw steps have been bad too. 
It's just that my opening six was these cards. Yeah, I've drawn nothing <laughs> but dazes, and I can't tell him to do anything. Cause I can't, couldn't daze that, couldn't daze that, and then couldn't. even though I could daze that, but <laughs> then I couldn't because of Thalia. I mean, I had a mana up too, so. Oh, uh, well, yeah, that's <laughs> Yeah, you literally yeah. couldn't daze anything. Yeah. Cavern, all you need is one. But if I just had one more land, we'd be good to go. Well, there's some good news for you on the horizon, Todd, is that currently I don't have a four land in my hand. But you also know the top card of your library is another black. Yeah, that is good news. You don't have a fourth land. I think we have to try to find another land. Let's go ponder. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, that is that's a land. Is that's it a fetch a, land though? It is a fetch land too. So that's okay. good. But I do I would really like this card also. But I can't I can't imagine I can afford it. That's actually like the one card you know, like invigorate here. I would like an invigorate, but can't imagine I can afford it. Uh, fetch brings you to 16. Yep. Yeah, into Noble, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you don't have another land, yeah, I think we'll be, be okay. Uh, this, that's two more poison? Yep, go ahead. If you don't have another land here, we're gonna, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, you hit the, your land drop. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was land. Okay, so activate Stone Forge, get our Dute, equip Thalia, Mushihu. This is a pretty ideal opening sequence. Yep. Todd could have Revoker here, or uh, what's what's the three? Corruptor, which would be pretty good. All right, so uh, I'm going down to 14. Yeah, I'm going to kill both of these right now. I want to cut you off mana. Yep. I'll pass the turn. Do you have Re Corruptor? Nope. You're at three poison? Yes. Can't quite kill you. Don't really know any reason to wait on for this instant speed removal spell. I don't really know any reason to wait. I'll just do that right now. Got to get that Jitae off the, the battlefield. So that, that was like the card I had in my hand last time, but I had two lands. You know, I'd... Yeah. Ugh. This Good. alley has really hurt me this game for sure. Good. Oh, that was not a good draw. Might just be dead. I'm going to have to draw pretty well to, to kill you. Well, I'm going to get a super aggro. Attack you for four. Down to ten? Yep. Um... Play a Phyrexian Revoker. That and I'm the man for nine. Force. Yep. And play an Aether Vial. You can't cast Ace. Oh, right. Yeah, I can't because of Thalia. Pass. All right. You got a couple turns. Hmm. So. I think our plan is just to go all in on these Ink Moths. Five poison. Five poison. Go ahead. Uh, keep one counter on vial. Mm -hmm. And that was a good draw. Push you for four. Down to five. Play another vial. Okay. Play a Richard import. Hmm. Pass. Okay, I'm going to. All right, how, how are we going to do this? So, yeah. Yep, this will work. All right, um, I'm going to animate one. Yeah, I can't beat an invigorate. Tap it. Or actually. Yeah, because if, if you just have Invigorate, you just attack with it. Yeah, so I, I just have to tap it. All right, so we could use it to activate the other Ink Moth. And then we still have our one for Invigorate. Which, yeah, that's that's our plan. Yeah, because yeah, you don't have swords anymore. Yeah, so yeah. Do you yeah. have Invigorate? I'm just dead. Yeah, I have, I have Invigorate, yep. Mm -hmm. Good game. I drew Judgment instead of a Plow. Yeah. And that's going to finish out our week of c Team Constructed... Let me just kind of redo that.
yeah. kind of I just kind of I need like the first two words I was saying but <clears throat> Like, what's a better word than battle? Or team constructed challenge? Uh, contest? Just team constructed week. Okay. Yeah. Or Pro Tour 25th anniversary okay. week. Okay. Okay. And that's going to finish out our week doing some team constructed to celebrate the 21st. 25th anniversary pro tour. No one celebrates their 21st anniversary, Todd. <laughs> yeah, 25th well, anniversary except, pro tour. Except children every time they turn 21. That's true. Yeah. And uh, so we had Infect versus Death and Taxes there. Uh, we saw some some pretty good games there. You know, like the, those are definitely good games. Um, Infect won three of the five, and I I think I th I played pretty poorly in both times I lost. Uh, game one, I just ran headfirst into Thalia plus Swords. I was like, okay, if it's because I want to get like some pressure, get infect damage in. I was like, well, if you do have a Thalia to block, I'll be okay. I'll have this blighted agent and this other stuff. Even if even if you do have the the second Thalia, but then you had the swords for the blighted agent, and then I was like, oh, now it now yeah, and you just had nothing. Yeah, and then the game two, I could have saved my creature with vines to not let you palace jailer it. But I was like, oh, that's fine. That's yeah, not going like, to be a big deal. Both, trade for one flyer. You have two ink moths, so like you tackle yeah. both. You'll trade one with, with the three one. Then you'll become the monarch. And then uh, and then you'll get your thing back and everything will be fine. And then you're somehow both ink moth nexus has died and yeah. you were confused. Yep, you got me there. So I, I definitely need to vines my um, my first creature, the two two. My Verdian Corruptor. The yeah. Verdian Corruptor. Your Verdian Corruptor. Yeah, need to vines that. But uh, still some, some good games. As, as we, uh, we saw, I do think Infects still pretty favored against death and taxes even though um even though you know it was like some pretty close games i think that if i played a little tighter could have could have had like a 4-1 there you know one of those games but. yeah i mean we had definitely a lot of close games i felt mm -hmm. like i really needed to get vile going to have more instant speed interaction with mm -hmm. you yeah. just don't have a lot uh, with this list because of the council judgments in the sideboard instead of other removal like a like a path to exile would have been great there i like if my judgment was path i just win game 5 uh, so there are definitely some things you can do to help out the matchup. This list is definitely not tuned towards Infect since it's not particularly popular right now. The deck was uh, suppressed for a long time by Grixis Delver, but I, I do think you're right that it's now well positioned post ban. So if we see more of it, I'm sure the Death and Taxes decks will shift a little bit. The the artifact removal in your sideboard is really good and super mm -hmm. important. So having a lot of pieces of it, and you have three, uh, is definitely good in this matchup. We saw you kill Vile in one game, kill Gta in another. Both times it was incredibly important. Yeah. Definitely, um, and and it's just kind of nice with the the deck that it has a variety. Nature's Claim is the best in this matchup, but uh, Nature's Claim is not good against the Chalice decks, and you got to be able to get rid of Chalice. Yeah. And so that's why we have the Descenders Deliverance and the Viridian Corruptor, where we got to be able to get rid of Chalice. And Corruptor increases your threat density in the post board yeah. games too, which you appreciate because most people are bringing in some removal. Uh, so having the extra threat is really nice. Deliverance is good because you just got to cycle it away when it's not good. So they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, and, and we saw the two non-claim ones, which are the ones that you, like are a little bit weirder on display. Cor Corruptor is good as a creature, and although I guess ended up being a liability. <laughs> yeah, yeah, deliver. Yeah, that's true. It, that, and even deliverance was a little bit of a liability because if it was claim, I would have been able to claim your Jitte right away and keep my blight agent alive. And oh, true, you, you yeah. ended up not cycling it. So yeah, because I you got a little punch for the. Yeah, I had to like play a ponder to try to hit a third land and play the noble, but then like they're both dead. If it's just nature's claim, I get to just have my two mana nature's claim through the Thalia. But oh well, it still worked out for the infectors. Is that is that a thing? That's like a a new superhero movie, the, the infectors. There's a million of those these days. Superhero movies. That is. I don't think so. Okay, that's not one. Okay. Yeah. Well, there we go. So that's our team constructed match. So these are the decks that we uh, recommend that, that uh, people play at the Pro Tour. Um, so I think the the team of three Todds with their positivity, with um, you know Grixis, humans, and Infect, that looks a little better than the team of Rosses over there. You know, it, one match doesn't. Uh doesn't make or break you in a team event. We know that. That's true. It's also good to take all your losses all at once and then win that's, all the two ones. That's a good point. That's a good so point. So I'm just distributing my losses well there. Yeah. Didn't distribute my game losses very well, losing every single match 3-2. So a lot of close matches between these decks. Uh, you know, like a, a draw here or there could, can shift them. Uh, and it just shows you that we both picked really good decks. Yeah, that's I think all, all six decks here, I think, are very good choices. I would not fault you for picking any of them. Although, if you pick Todd's choices, then... You're just wrong. <laughs> but it's okay to be wrong. Just be proud in your wrongness. 
he says wrong, I say scoreboard, you know. We'll, we'll see uh, what happens there. But, all right, that's it for us today. Thanks for watching the Versus series by StarCityGames.com. For Ross Merriam, I'm Todd Stevens, and we'll see you next week.